We acknowledge the traditional owners of the land we meet on, the Ghana people. We acknowledge elders past, present and emerging. The Ghana people have held stewardship over this land for tens of thousands of years. We acknowledge their deep knowledge of and relationship with this land. We acknowledge the intricate political, economic and social structures they built that fostered their connection with the land and with other traditional owners. And we acknowledge the Ghana people's continued grace in welcoming us onto their land. In Reconciliation Week and beyond, we commit ourselves to listening to their stories, to celebrating their achievements, to sharing their grief over what they have lost, to acknowledging our role in their grief, to learning from their wisdom and to walk with them on the journey to reconciliation as we surely are in this together. A valued friend of Prince Alfred College, Uncle Mugi, visited the campus recently to share about his culture and talk about National Reconciliation Week. The theme for this year is In This Together. Uncle Mugi, also known as Major Sumner, is a senior Nurenjeri elder. The Nurenjeri Nation is situated south of the Ghana Nation where Prince Alfred College is located. The headmaster greeted Uncle Mugi to PAC. Good to be invited back yeah. here again yes. to, to uh, talk about Aboriginal culture, talk about our culture yeah. and uh, blend it in with what, what's here today. Well, because yeah. we have to live in two worlds, you know? Yes. And I think not just us, but I think everyone in this country have to live in two worlds. Live in their world, but they live in our world. Learn about, learn about the flight of the boomerang, the spear thrower, the hunting, the, the land, the stories, the creation of this land. Learn about that. Absolutely, and yeah. I think we are all enriched by yeah. doing that, and that's, yeah. that's where we want to, that's where we're heading. Yeah, that's good. Uh, and embracing good. Aboriginal mm. culture, celebrating Aboriginal culture, yeah. and also welcoming more and more uh, Aboriginal students in, into our school. Yeah, that's, very important yeah, well, that's, to us. that's good, to, good to hear. Some of the Aboriginal students who attend PAC were able to learn some cultural activities from Uncle Mugi and were happy to be filmed so that the messages could be shared with the rest of the Prince Alfred College community. The kaiki was the fighting spear. People say, but it's, you know, you can break that easy, yeah, you can break it. But it was for distance. You can throw a spear, a heavy spear, you can throw that, yeah, but you can't throw it as far as these. So if you throw from over there and it lands here, I can throw from here that a land past you. So what you do when you put the, throw the spear, as you all know, you put that in the end, and you've got that there like that, and you you got it ready to throw, and you stretch your arm out, it's an, it's an extension of your arm, and when you throw it, you... I'll make sure that's straight, see it there? You put that there like this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Mugi answered some questions we had for him, including what makes a good leader in the Aboriginal culture? Well, a good leader has to be someone who practices, knows the culture, respected in a, in a community, and not just one way, it's, it's respect back to, you know, stand up there and have, have everyone try to respect you. No, you have to respect everyone else too. So, and if they come to you for advice, you give them advice. You, you know within yourself what you're talking about. You know some of the things that you've experienced in life. You know some 
of life's uh, rough parts, the smooth parts. And that leader could, that person that would make a good leader knows all about that. It's not that someone that's up there never experienced nothing. You want someone who's been there, done that. And growing up from a young boy into a man, you learn that. Uncle Mugi talked about his responsibility to country as a traditional custodian. When you look at the city and the country, the city has been here for hundred and something years. People have been here for thousands of years. So this year is still, still the bush because you've got all the different things still here. You've got the different springs, you've got the different plants, you've got all the different... The only thing you haven't got here now is kangaroos and emus walking around. But now and again you'll see them hopping around the parks. So, it's still places where you, you know the stories about. It's still places where you can tell stories about different areas. Same as you can tell stories about, you go down to the Koorong, or you go up to the, to the north, the AP Wildlands, or right up into, into New South Wales and Wilcannia, Rokanil and that. You can tell stories about that there, but you could also tell the stories about here. Whatever country town you're in, or city that you're in, the stories are still there. They never change because they've been there for thousands of years. You've got the, got the story about the rivers that goes past, you've got the stories about the, the mountains and the, and the ranges, the rainbow serpents and all that. The stories are there. They'll always be there. You may be able to build a house there, but that story will go straight through that house. It'll never go around. It'll always be there. Same as here in the city. The stories of Red Cane grew dreaming about Victoria Square, Tandanyanka. They're still there. They won't change. So you can tell the stories wherever you are, where you're sitting. You don't sit down on the steps of Parliament House. Today, you go down to the rivers, you see how, but last year, you had fish dying in the rivers. You had Murray Cod, some of them were over 100 years old. They're dying in their own environment. You know, if we don't look after this land, when is it our turn? Well, you look at what's happening now. But we have to look after the land, otherwise we'll die in our own environment. We asked Uncle Moggy what his message for Prince Alfred College is. What is it he wants us to know about reconciliation? Not just for reconciliation, but for the classes that are in the day. It's good to celebrate reconciliation. It's good to celebrate Aboriginal culture or uh, Aboriginal cultural week. But you celebrate that once a year. So if we can get stories like the little blue wren, the watchy bird, the rainbow serpent, the mulliwank, all the different stories from around and learn them and teach them in there. Because them stories were taught by our elders for thousands of years and they were taught for good reasons to make you a good person, make you a better person, make you a... Uh, teach you. Because you teaching stuff here now. It's all about math, English, science. We've had our own way of teaching that. So bring that into the college. So that people, not just Aboriginal people, are learning it. Everyone. When we do the ceremonies for the river, when we talk about healing this country, make sure that everyone's involved in healing. And, 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 and one fellow said, well, how come you let these white fellows? I said, hey, I've got it on good authority. They're not going home again. They're here to stay. And they looked and said, oh, yeah. I said, yeah. Not just us. 
Otherwise, we become the cleaners. When they stuff it up over here, we have to go there and clean that up. When they stuff it up over there, we have to go there and clean that up. So why not all of us learn about healing this country? Thank you.